The U.S. has had 246 massive natural disasters since 1980. The total cost to taxpayers, more than $1.6 trillion, and the annual cost each year is only growing. But with federal data showing that disaster spending skyrockets every year, some lawmakers are asking if the country can keep up. Raquel Martin has more from Washington. In the last two years alone, the U.S. has witnessed historic floods in the Midwest, deadly and destructive wildfires across the western coast, and record-breaking hurricanes leaving the entire island of Puerto Rico without power. The A's are 257. So far, Congress keeps providing money to communities recovering after disaster strikes. This may lawmakers pass yet another multi-billion dollar relief package. But with federal data showing disaster spending skyrocketing each year, several Republican lawmakers are asking if the country can keep up. It's definitely not sustainable. Indiana Senator Mike Braun is one of eight Republicans who voted against this year's relief package. He says Congress should abandon the pay-as-you-go system and instead start planning and budgeting for disasters each year. We don't offset it. We don't plan for it. It's what makes this place run so dysfunctionally. Congress has spent more than a trillion dollars on disaster relief this decade alone, and three of the last six years have been the most expensive in U.S. history. It's reaching the crisis point. Democrat Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown blasted the plan for putting disaster victims at risk, saying in a statement, after blowing a $1.5 trillion hole in the budget, it's the height of hypocrisy for Republicans to suggest we can't afford to take care of Americans who've been harmed by these disasters. The bill remains in the Senate, but Brown hopes to push it through in time for this year's budget. In Washington, Raquel Martin.